Okay, folks, we're going to be testing this Monarch 9mm Serbian made ammunition from the Academy store for function and reliability and accuracy. And because it came in a battle pack, waterproofness. My dad picked up this battle pack from the store a couple of days ago. We decided to put it into a bucket of water to see if it was actually impervious to moisture or if moisture would get in and ruin the ammo. So we got it dried off now, folks, and we're going to open it up to see how the ammunition looks on the inside. And this ammunition appears to be completely dry. Therefore, we can conclude that these battle packs appear to be a good solution for storing your ammunition in a humid environment. And I tell you what, something about this just doesn't seem quite right. That's better. Hey there folks, how you doing today? Hope all is going well for you. Sorry about that in the beginning. I just had to get something off my chest. I think you know what it is. Well anyway folks, if you saw the video that we put out a little while ago, it was announcing the, the giveaway that we have scheduled for this week. It's nothing major, but it's some little trinket stuff that I had that if one of you is interested in one of those items, just drop us a line. We will select a winner and we will get that out to you probably sometime this week. We're busy around here like most of you are. So something that I wanted to cover here is that this ammunition right here, which comes in this battle pack right here, sold by Academy Stores, here locally in the Houston area, it's going for about $69.99 for one of these battle packs. That is the best deal that I've seen in at least a month on 9mm ammunition. It is $5 cheaper than the steel cased variant of the Monarch ammunition, which is Russian made steel cased stuff that up until recently was only 50 something dollars a box. Go figure. I don't think the prices are going to be getting any better on 9mm anytime soon. I will be showing you later on today how this ammunition performs for reliability and function and accuracy. And as you already saw, the packaging is pretty well moisture resistant. One thing that I'll point out to you is if you ask a caveman to open your box of ammunition, this is what you get. Fortunately, I had some empty magazines, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling those up now. While I fill these magazines, I thought I'd show you some funny stuff that I saw this week. Uh, fair warning, most of this is propaganda or... At the very least, dad joke humor and not worth watching or repeating, but here we go. You know, it seems amazing to me that Leonard Skinner was right about him in 1974. Every time I look at this one, I find something else wrong with it. Just take a second. So I was looking at the YouTube video analytics the other day, and judging by the demographics of the folks that are watching these videos, most of you know who he is. I tell you what, I'm so old I can remember when Sam Kennison was a preacher. I don't know about self-driving vehicles, but the price of the pickup trucks is leaving me behind. Every time I go out for breakfast with my wife and the waitress asks me how I'd like my eggs cooked, I always tell her, that'd be great. And my wife always kicks me under the table. And I told you there'd be some bad dad jokes in this one. 
I love this one. You send that kid after the muffler bearings. A gallon of blinker fluid. Canooter valve. Okay, viewer discretion is advised. I blurred this out best I could, but a buddy of mine sent me this picture from Albuquerque the other day. Oh man, I'm proud of my hometown. Well, that's all I had for funny stuff today, and I've got all my magazines loaded up now with this open box of Serbian ammunition, so let's get over to the range and see how it performs. I wanted to give this stuff the benefit of the doubt, so we'll be running it today through this SIG P226 Legion. If this won't shoot it, nothing will. Five shots. Get out of my chair. Okay, so we are back. We went out to the range today. So how did this stuff perform? Real quick, uh, this is what we're talking about. These uh, Monarch 200 round battle packs sold through Academy stores under their Monarch name. Uh, this ammunition I'll show you right here is actually a PPU from Serbia. It's brass cased. If you're not familiar with PPU, I think, I could be mistaken, but I think it's a, a state-owned ammunition plant in Serbia, and they make a lot of really good ammunition. I've been pleasantly surprised with everything that I've gotten from there at just how really good it is. So as I mentioned yesterday, we were going to take the P226 Legion to the range and test some of this ammunition, but I decided that we would try the Monarch brass cased ammunition in a variety of handguns. The overall accuracy was acceptable. It was not great. I do think that Winchester white box holds a little bit better group through my EDC pistols. That's what I normally practice with. That being said, it certainly wasn't bad ammunition. I kept everything on paper. We were shooting at 10 yards. But I would also like to add that regardless of the platform, we shot it through a bunch of different handguns. We had no issues whatsoever. No light charges, no failures to feed, no failures to extract, no stove pipes. The only gun that has received a cleaning since we were out there is the Taurus GX4 because I was getting it prepared for everyday carry after the range session. I was really surprised at how clean it was inside. There was very little powder residue much cleaner than Winchester White Box, and on par with most other ammunition. So what all do we have to say? Do I think the uh, Monarch brass-cased Serbian PTU manufactured uh, ammunition sold by Academy is a good deal? Absolutely. I think it's probably the best deal you can get in this area right now. So I won't tie up any more of your time. Thanks folks for watching this. It was a, it was a lot of fun making the video. Go ahead and leave us a comment or hit that thumbs up. It really does help us know that we are doing a good job for you. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Let me show you a trick. Take the knife blade. No, 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 no. Run the knife blade in under the edge and then just twist it and it'll pop it loose. Okay.
order it. Give me your trash all over here. I wonder how they treat their Cambodian sweatshop workers. <laughs>